I know. I don't like to hit people personally. The guy has been um, supportive of this program in general. I know. I just wanted him to hear that from me today. Yeah. Stalker Patty in studio. Hi, how are you? Yeah, how are you? She said the microphone's on her head. <laughs> Put it Hi. in front of you. How are you? Hi, Daddy. <laughs> I came to do the news a little bit for you. Oh, great. Wonderful. I, I, I want to hear more about um, your Atlantic City trip. <laughs> oh, it's I got all there. over the website. Shut up. It's all over the website. And um, <laughs> I, I, you got recognized there from fans. And, and she goes down to Atlantic City, and she actually hit. You won? Yeah. How I much? hit on the blazing sevens for three hundred, which That's... I've never done before. I only go down there with about fifty dollars, sixty. Fifty, sixty bucks yeah, down in AC. What do you yeah. go for the day? Yeah, I do. I get my free comps. I eat for free. So you, you, how much does it cost to take the bus down there? It costs twenty eight dollars, and you get twenty dollars back. So you get twenty dollars in and vouchers. And then you get some money back in the machine. Because, you know, every time you play, you get points. And when you get a certain number of points, you get some money. So they gave me about $10, $15 Oh, so there. like you're getting comped? Yeah. Her voice I, is so excuse me, would you like to be rated irritating. for your 50 bucks? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they're giving her sweets over there at Trump. <laughs> well, I do have a voucher for one free night. You do? In the hotel. Wow. But I've got to wait until next month when I can take a couple of vacation days together. Vacation? She's going to take a vacation day and go to uh, Trump uh, no, Marina? No, not Trump. Where do I, you go? I hate the Trump. He's cheap with his comps. <laughs> oh, what place has the best comps down there for you? Claridge, Wild Wild West, oh, Valley. The Claridge? <laughs> yeah, that's my casino. That's my casino. I'm a high roller. <laughs> Oh. I like it there. The Claridge. That's nothing but Asians and Puerto Ricans. Who goes oh, to I the don't Claridge? care. I have fun. How great would it be no. if she won 300 and then was rolled in the parking lot for Oh, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> one, her one good moment, little chicklets are knocked out of her mouth. I no. won, I won. <laughs> oh, and then someone just puts his fist in her face. <laughs> no, I don't make it so obvious. I sit at the machine. Oh, I very get good. get slip, and then I take the money and run. Once I win, I run. I try not to put too much yeah, that's in not the obvious. Bucket. Someone running out of a casino. What do you think's going on? Yeah. <laughs> what do you do when all the coins are clinking into the bucket? Just cough really loud for a while? So no one knows? <laughs> no. <laughs> so you're playing the quarter. It was a quarter slot? Yeah. And you're playing that. And how long were you playing? About 10, 15 minutes. That's it. And I won at that particular machine. And then you won. So now what do you do? You're ahead. Well, I just took a hundred. I used that to go to Caesars with, and I put the two hundred dollars in the bank. Oh, so now you I left the shitty place. You left the shithole once you won and went to Caesars. Yeah, Caesars is good too. I like Caesars. Yeah. And it's all related, you know. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, right, it sure is. So you went there, and you. How much did you actually leave with ahead? Uh, well, I still left with the two hundred dollars plus. I had about twenty-five, thirty dollars left of the third hundred. How great would it be in two years if she's so so hooked, she's prostituting herself outside no. the Borgata? <laughs> I only go once in a while. She went, no, like I'm I meant it. President's Club, so when I go for ten trips, Giving out I get a for a nickel. trip. <laughs> the know. President's Club. Yeah, you swipe the card every time you get the ticket. At the ten trips, you get a free one. I got two so far in the last two years. That's great. The president of what country? Yeah. President's Club. Grover well, Cleveland. It's, it's Academy bus that runs that uh, Is that the bus you take? Yeah. Isn't that a long trip? Yeah. Oh, I sleep most of the time. So yeah. is everyone I have listening to, to you. <laughs> when I ride, I get drowsy in a car, so I just end up nodding off. Oh, that's <laughs> good. That's safe. <laughs> wow, what a mess. You realize you're not a virgin anymore, right, if you're doing trips like that? <laughs> On that bus? Yeah, you have no oh. clue, but you're not a virgin anymore. Take a bus to the Claridge. Oh. And fall asleep on the way. And she's going to take vacation time for that one. Yeah. Mm. Well, I got four days left to take, and I got to take them before October. Oh, great. So now what did you see? Uh, uh, I guess a fan recognized you? I was waiting for the bus to go home on the line there, and then the this guy home. comes back and started, kept yelling, Stalker Batty. Hey, Stalker Batty. I'm like, and, and I was sleepy, so I, first thing I said was, how does he know me? And then I realized that, you know, hey. Yeah, from all uh, the gambling, from the winnings. Yeah. <laughs> a, did you a get big a winner. Did you get a security walk up to the room, did you? <laughs> no. 
What did you do with your $300? Well, 200 I banked. Oh, put it in the bank? Six yeah, months rent. and I used it to pay a bill. What bill? A bill. Oh, I used it for, for part of my rent, plus, uh, oh, well, I'm embarrassed. A lot of people I, are saying that this hotel is like the crack hotel of AC. Yeah, it so is. I haven't stayed in, overnight yet because I have a job. I work. It's really retired people, people who don't work that actually use those comps because they don't have anything to do the next yeah. day. Hold on. Let me, let, me, let me ask you a question, Teeth. Perfectly together. What was she just talking about that it made me? She said something. That she said she got went embarrassed. Yeah. yeah. What were you embarrassed by? But it, it oh, I also paid fifteen dollars to join AARP. The American <laughs> Association of Retired, retired Persons. People. Retired. Uh, oh, retired people. It's for Sorry. people my age and over. What's embarrassing about that? I think you took the money for Valtrex. That no. Be <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> So you're, uh, I just want you're, to see what I get with that. What do you think it's going to get you? I don't know. That probably magazine? discounts and stuff. Yeah, probably a know. satin pillow. <laughs> Say 50 cents at the movies. Yeah. Oh, that would be nice because one of the things I have in my news thing is about the seeing the, the movie, The 40-Year-Old Virgin. Oh, the you decision. saw it. Right, well, I you? didn't see it yet. I have oh, to review in the paper. Oh, my God, voice goes through everybody. I like yeah. her voice. Yeah. It's the most irritating voice we have on the radio. Because her Thank teeth are perfectly together. $300. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, anyway, that's the movie I want to go see, so I have the review. You think you'll be able to um, relate to it? I don't know. The guy looks a little buggy to me. A little buggy. And what do you look, Miss Ant? <laughs> Ant body? <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't walk around Honey, with my eyes popped Are you missing out. teeth in the back? What happened? No. On the right side, oh, above. The, o- the other side's your right Open side. your mouth and tip your head back. Open. Wider. Uh, what an awful right. hummer she's in the game. Uh, yeah, wow. I had a tooth pulled due to an abscess about ten years ago, but it's in the back. Yeah, not really in the back. It's like open in the your mouth. Can you open your mouth or no? <laughs> oh, it's wow. awful. Wow, are cramming one in there? No, I can't. I, I absolutely can't. All right. Well, why don't we do the news with Patty? Patty? What do you want me to do? <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> okay. The hand-to-hand the fight freak. in Gaza. It seems that... Wait a minute. Of all the news stories you can do, Patty's going to discuss Gaza? The Gaza Strip. Well, you know, technically, Patty, that's not part of our core audience. Now, come on. This is discussing politics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it seems that Ariel Sharon wants to take over some territory back from the Jewish settlers that they've occupied since 67 because he wants to take over. And the way they're getting these people out, they're treating them like criminals, and they don't realize they're turning away people that have lived in the same place for many years, you know, and don't want yeah, to lose their Yeah, but technically, the argument is they're not supposed to be there in the first place. That is Palestinian land. Oh, what? I know. That's why they're being removed. Right. These people just can't accept that. And a lot of them are Americans. And then, then again, huh. where, where are they going to go? A lot of them are Americans that go there and live there because they're radical Americans and they go there and live there. Yeah. A lot of the people are not Israeli. Yeah. Well, yeah. well anyway, they're taking them away by... Spraying them and gassing them and going in there with tear gas and stuff like that. And the uh-huh. problem is, there's a lot of children in there and women. Ah, uh, the children. So you're yeah. suggesting gathering up the children and leaving them on a counter at a diner, <laughs> like you were left when you yeah. were a little infant. But if they're gonna have to leave a territory that they maybe their parents or grandparents took over, why not have a place for them to go where they'll feel they do. safe? It's called Israel. The rest of Israel. The rest of Israel. Do you know how many people, how many Jews are living in Gaza? Yes, a lot of them. No, 8,500. Do you know how many Palestinians surround them? 1.4 million. Yeah. Leave. Well, it's really their land. Leave. Well, it's just a lot of people surrounding a lot of people and very aggressive, and it's too expensive to protect it with the military. You know what it looks like over there? It looks like the Claridge. It's a mess. <laughs> just a dump with a bunch of foreigners in it. I know one place I've always wanted to go to was the Borgata. But ah, I, the Borgata. It's so far out of the way. It is not. not. You have it's to take a jitney to get there. A what? A jitney. A jitney. <laughs> you said a jitney, you though. you got to take jitney. a jitney. You did say jitney. <laughs> what the hell's a jitney? You cop on the jitney, you dope. You know how you should get to Atlantic City? Lady Di should pull you in a rickshaw. <laughs> 
I didn't know. <laughs> the Borgata is wonderful, Patty. You I should stay take there the every Dittany. time I go. Definitely take the Dittany. It's worth it. Do they have Claridge babes? Because they got the Borgata babes. They're all the waitresses that uh, serve uh, people, and they are the hottest chicks. They have pe- women like that walking around the Claridge, too. Yeah, yeah in short little skirts. On. Really? Yeah. I'm sure they look a little different than they do at the Borgata. Yeah, those yeah, are not the old. girls. <laughs> well, they're not 50-year-olds like me. <laughs> all right, all right. Listen, let's get uh, back to the news. All right, so anyway, the Israeli authorities fired blue dye at the protesters to mark them for prosecution and piled into a <laughs> shipping container that was lifted by crate onto the rooftop. And once there, they overwhelmed right. the resistors. <sighs> so they're using a lot of force. To get these people out. Right, great. It. Patty, you got to hurry up because I promised I, Sam. I promised uh, Sam we'd play some audio before he leaves. Just okay. what that, what's that one story? The, the thing you were looking at before? No, 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 no. You're no, supposed no. to prepare stories before you no, come I, in here, Patty. You don't, you don't just go through the news real fast on the air. No, no, no. That, what's that? What, that one that you were on on the thing? What thing? Was before. No, 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 no. Back, 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 back. If you're in Atlantic City taking a jitney, you should not be in Atlantic What's City. What's a jitney? It's, it's a, a jitney. bus. It's, it's a, a bus, bus that goes around to all the different it's places. It's a bus. You know what you do? You go up to the front door and you go, hey, get me a cab. I'm going over the Borgata. Or get me a cab. I'm going to Harris. That's right. Well, you uh, got to uh, do. I can't afford a cab. I could only afford you made, the dollar. You made 300 bucks. Live hey. a little. Live a little. Spend it. No, it's got to go to bills and stuff. Got to you know. pay my bills. Yeah, that helps out. She's going to be playing fucking uh, Texas Hold'em soon. <laughs> Instead well, of the, the Unabomber, she's going to be the New York bore. <laughs> well, anyway, this is something I must go see. Yeah, way to step on a good line, just with a well good. anyway, and plow right ahead. <laughs> well, anyway, Jimmy. Yeah. Jesus. This is Here she is, the ant. Everyone's afraid of her. <laughs> I have to go see the story of the 40-year-old virgin to yeah. see... We know what he's like. It stars Steve Carroll, and he's a middle-aged St- nerd. Who, who does it star? Steve Carroll. Steve Carroll. C a r r e l l. Carroll. You, have you ever seen him before? No. Actually, the Daily he'll Show. Be a new actor for, well, maybe on the Daily Show, but I don't know. Because I know some well. guy that looks just like him and uh, is very funny, named Steve Carell. Oh, and Steve he's very Carell. funny. Well, then maybe so that's maybe how you Steve say his Carroll. Name. Oh, really? Oh, I thought it was two different people. Yeah. You fucking dolt. Well, it says that he has a collection of GI Joe dolls, and he doesn't have a single sexual war story. And uh, I relate to that. I have a collection of Beanie Babies. <laughs> Ugh. You know. So you, you but know. But anyway. It's but the, anyway, again. I guess in this movie he probably gets an education, so I have to you go think? see exactly what he learned. And by that you mean he gets laid? Maybe I don't know. I want to see what the end of the story is going to be. That's why I want to go see it. Uh, Do you realize the forty-year-old virgin is a ridiculous like title because he's forty-year-old and, and he's a virgin, and you are actually ten years older than that? Yeah. You're worse than the joke that they're making with the whole movie. You'd meet him and say, "Good luck, kid." Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we would uh, AARP. <laughs> A-A-R-P. Yeah. Maybe we would be very good together. Who knows? Yeah. The fifty-year-old Patty. virgin going out with the forty-year-old right, virgin. Listen, I'm trying to move along because I, I really promised Sam. Um, you missed the story of the day, though, uh, Patty. If you're a seven-year-old kid with uh, cerebral palsy and autism, you have to take your laughs anywhere you can get them. That's how the story starts. Very sad uh, story. Just don't have too much fun at the local movie theater or you might get thrown out. That's what happened to young Anthony this week. Uh, To say his parents are upset about it would be an understatement. Anthony, who uses a wheelchair, was with his parents, his sister, and his grandmother at the Lowe's Cineplex Theaters watching a 1.15 p.m. matinee of the G-rated film March of the Penguin. March of the goddamn Penguin. The family sat in the wheelchair section provided by the theater. Anthony was having such a good time, said his mom, uh, uh, Gina... He was laughing, but he really wasn't much louder than any of the other kids in the theater, she said. Mm, I doubt it. (laughs) About 15 minutes into the film... (laughs) (laughs) Actually, he was just sitting right behind Ben Sparks. (laughs) He was yelling Boston and going, ha 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 (laughs) About 15 minutes into the film, one of the theater's managers approached the family, she said. (laughs) He said, our son was laughing too loud. What's that? Oh. Uh, my husband told him, Anthony, 
Oh, my husband told him Anthony didn't understand that he was disabled, but that we try to quiet him down. Yeah. And that little dummy just take him home and jiggle popcorn in front of his face. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> All the wrong places. Not good enough, apparently. The manager uh, told the family that Anthony had to leave. <laughs> Outraged, the family followed the manager to the lobby where they were told they all didn't have to leave. Just Anthony. They told the family they could stay, there, but Anthony couldn't. Anthony had to leave? Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. Uh, the mom said, I said to him, what are we supposed to do? Wheel him outside and leave him there? Uh, was he sitting behind Nick Nolte and his family in Cape Fear? Yes, too bad. Beat it, turnip legs. <laughs> Jesus, what's wrong with you? Take your gecko legs outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this will get new uh, XM subscribers, of course. Exactly. He was horrible. <laughs> Taking the kid to the March of the Penguins. He gets to watch Penguins walk. I know. <laughs> He's got to roll into the goddamn theater. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Oh, boy. So, you know, she's really pissed off, and she's called the theater. No one is returning her calls. She sent emails. No one is sending uh, replies. Uh, okay, This uh, the mom says this was only the third movie Anthony had ever seen, and now we're afraid to go back because they might throw us out again. <laughs> what was the first one he saw? Probably laughed all the way through that, too. Little dope. Schindler's List. Oh, I was right there, Ann. I was right there. <clears throat> I'm essential to the... <laughs> This guy's a panic. Oh, boy. Two words. Blockbuster video. Blockbuster video. Very good, Patty. <laughs> Explanations oh. aside, Patty... Uh, you have the timing Patty. of a Greek Patty. plane. <laughs> <laughs> Explanations aside, the mom has a simple message for the manager. She says, publicly humiliated her son. Are you ready for the message? Yeah. The message is, shame on you. Ooh. Shame, shame. And her next message is for God, who also publicly humiliated him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Anthony, shut up. Mom! I love the Lord. I have to do this now. Laughing at all the inappropriate places, like the egg rolls, and they realize the baby penguin's dead. Old dumbbell thinks it's a kickball game. <laughs> <laughs> Boston Tom Brady. <laughs> Dude, my <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, the visual is scary. <laughs> we we don't have much time. We got to say uh, goodbye to Sam. One of our.